channel so today's video is going to be a little bit different because it is an announcement okay so if you have read the title then you already know what the announcement is but before i get into talking about some of the things um to expect this year for me in terms of where i am and what's going on in my life make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post a video on this channel like comment subscribe and follow me on all forms of social media um at hannah Burnell w that is across all platforms okay so let's just jump right into it your girl is a pageant girl again uh, omg this has been such a long time coming for me mainly because of a few things you know if you have been a long time subscriber to my channel then you have seen all of the story times about all the craziness that happened in atlanta I was actually in the process of becoming um, Miss Black Sandy Springs while I was there for Miss Black USA. That didn't work out because just life was too crazy for me. I could not, there was no way that I could be able to manage that. Um, living in Atlanta, especially knowing like I don't have a tribe out there, I have I would have no help um, to do these things. So like I would have to start all the way over which is what a lot of people do but like i just was not in a position to do that financially and also mentally and emotionally it just i wasn't there you know let's just be real um another reason why it has taken me so long to get back into pageantry is mostly because like i've lost my confidence in it not that i have lost my confidence in myself to be a good competitor but i don't know like a part of me a part of me was just not a hundred percent convinced in pageantry anymore um mostly because of one of the things being like my family dynamic was changing because I was becoming older <laughs> and putting my foot down and you know if I can be completely transparent I grew up with a lot of the, like negative um attention attached to pageantry in some of my family dynamics not not my mom at all but you know just like I it wasn't a always a happy or exciting conversation to tell people that I'm doing another pageant or that I'm in pageantry I'm a pageant girl I'm a black girl in pageantry like any of that was like all of that was not really ex not ex not not acceptable but like nobody was excited the way that I was excited for it which kind of like played into a lot of other things because I think the only idea of pageantry that certain folks in my family were willing to accept was me potentially running for Miss Jackson State which I did not want to do after a while because I did not feel supported on any of my other ventures um so there was that and I also just kind of like gave up the fight in pageantry a little bit because I've had to sacrifice so much of my self in a in another there's like there's no other way for me to say it um, but I've had to sacrifice so much of me for pageantry that I kind of got not lost, but, um, after I did Miss United States 2015, I was tired. <laughs> Your girl was burnt out. Okay. Um, I was tired. And so like I spent my last year at college, just like having fun and experiencing life and like having a job and working like my 2016 was like the like fall fall 2015 going into the entire year of 2016 was like what I needed because I had spent my whole collegiate career being a pageant girl and being like one of those you know what I'm saying like she up to something what is she doing like she's in everything she's everywhere and you know it got to the point where I felt like people didn't really know me um or like knew my personality outside of like my core group of friends um and that's mainly because like some of them grew up with me <laughs> so like they kind of like knew who I was and what I was about but I kind of felt like I had to separate my life so much because when you are in pageantry you do have to I don't want to say put up an image but like only the perfect things can be shown it's the best way that I can say it 
Um, so like no partying, no cussing, obviously, like none of that other stuff that would deter people from or judges or anybody from looking you up and saying that they don't think that you're a viable candidate for the topic. And so, so much of my life was separated <laughs> that people really had no idea who I was, what I was about, what, what am I interested in? Like I was literally just that girl that majored in history, don't know why she's doing that. Um, who doesn't want to be a teacher, so what type of plan does she really have for her life? That does pageants. Like, that was my whole identity at Jackson State. That girl in the history department that does pageants. Like, that was it. Um, and so, once I became older and I kind of, like, started living more, I grew up, I moved out, you know, and the world kind of opened up to me um, a lot more, it came, it became very obvious to me that I can have both. You know, I can live my life and still be a pageant girl, <laughs> which I felt like, you know, a lot of folks um, were starting to do. And I think some of that had to do with the type of queens we were starting to see in the public eye, the type of girls that were becoming Miss USA and Miss America. Um, to me kind of really opened my eyes up a little bit more about wh who I could be, wh what my online presence could be while I was still holding this title. And so that's when I kind of decided to roll around and come back to the idea of pageantry. I know that I did, I put a video up that is unlisted, is privated and unlisted now about like why I would never return to pageantry. And in that video, I think I was speaking from a place of like hurt and anger. Um, and I really hadn't like sat down and had like a mature conversation with myself about like the things that are my problem with and not other folks problems with. Um, I was Miss Mississippi Earth in 2020. The pandemic hit, a whole bunch of other things hit. Um, there was a crazy election going on like, you know, and after a while because, the, honestly because of the pandemic, that's kind of why I didn't want to compete um and also like I have older parents way older grandparents and like a few other things so I kind of didn't want to put myself on a plane even though I had bought my ticket to Vegas and everything everything was set girl all I had to do was get on a plane and go um I wasn't feeling that you know <laughs> I wasn't feeling that and then there were also like some other personal personal things going on that just kind of made me look at Miss Earth differently and um I just didn't think it was a good fit for, fit for me and I didn't think it was a good fit for me to go and compete. So that is enough of my spill about why I have not been a pageant girl, but let's talk about now. <laughs> so my title is currently Ms. Black Capital City for Miss Black USA, which is part of the Black USA system. It's so funny to me because all throughout all of these years, I have always wanted to, sorry, this is my dog. I have always wanted to be a part of the Black USA system um, starting when I was in high school, like literally and like when I would like look through like, I guess the role for Miss Black USA or Miss Mississippi, Miss Black Mississippi USA, OMG. Um, like all the girls were always older than me. And so my mom and I both kind of felt like, mm, I don't know, maybe you should wait until you're older so you can compete. Um, because like as a freshman in college, um, Bentley is being so disrespectful. But as a freshman in college, like a lot of the girls were like 25, 26, 27 in my age group. And it's not that I didn't feel confident competing against girls who were that much older than me when I was like 18, 19, 20. It's just that, I don't know, like I had so many other um, organizations that I had not aged out of yet that I wanted to see like what was up with them. I wanted to potentially get back into NAM. I wanted to do International Junior Miss. I had like a thousand titles while I was at school anyways, state, local, regional, school titles, like a whole bunch of things. So, like I, your girl was busy, okay? Um, so I really didn't have time for it then. And then when I moved to Atlanta, like I said, I became interested again in seeing if maybe I could pull it off. And like I, I stated earlier, it just was not a feasible plan or option for me. And so um, I've come back home. Some years have passed. The pandemic is mostly socially over. It is not medically or scientifically over, but it is socially over. 
Um, so things have opened back up. I do feel a lot more confident. Um, I have been through some things now. I know that was also another part of the reason why I wasn't 100% comfortable just quite going back to pageantry after 2015 was because like I have feel like I had not lived enough of my life. Um, I feel like I didn't have any accomplishments for real. I feel like I hadn't been through anything. I didn't have a story outside of I started participating in pageants because I couldn't be an athlete anymore and that's not heavy enough. Um, so now I feel like, you know, I have contributed to my community in some of the most positive ways that you can. Um, even though like I've never stopped doing community service or I've never stopped caring, but I think that because I have lived so much of my life now between the time where I was 22 to 29, um, I have so much more to talk about. I have so much more to speak to. I have so many more examples. Um, and so I have so much more, you know, extra things about me that can be considered pluses. Okay. So, um, I'm super excited to be here. Also, like a lot of my friend girls, like literally every friend girl or sister queen acquaintance, black girl from Jackson adjacent has held the title of Miss Black Mississippi. And I'm talking about the Arikas, the, the nieces, you know what I'm saying? Like, so the Kanitras, so many girls that I either grew up admiring because, um, Kanitra was actually a couple of years older than me. Um, not a couple, like she was a senior when I was a freshman at Mer. <laughs> so she's a few years older than me, but like, you know, I grew up watching her compete and dance and do a whole bunch of things. And then like, I had friends very close to me, like Denise and Arika are literally my friends. Um, I went to elementary school with Denise and then, you know, other girls that I just know throughout pageantry in Mississippi have also gone off and, and held this title. Everybody has held this title and I'm super excited to compete for the opportunity to, even though I have aged out of Miss in my, even though I have aged out of Miss in my SS, I am not in Ms. MS, I'm excited to potentially like join the ranks of the girls who I'm in community with when it comes to black pageantry in Mississippi. So I'm super excited to be here. Um, I'm super excited to be here. Follow me for my reign. You can follow my pageant page, which is Hannah B. Williams underscore. It has been my pageant page since like about 2020, 2021, um, or like 2019. I don't know. It's been my pageant page for a minute. I never thought I would go back to pageantry. So there's not a lot on the page. Um, but it is my pageant page, and that's where I plan to like post all the things that are relevant to my pageant journey. Um, I do have my sash. I want to show y'all. So this is my city sash and it's by, um, Ladybug Sashes. I believe this is the name. Ladybug Sashes also made my Miss Black Jackson State co-ed, uh, sash. So very good quality. Okay. Like the sash company, watch out. Cause literally all my other sashes are the sash company, but, um, this is my sash. I know it is probably going to be backwards to y'all because it's the camera but this is my sash and this is my crown ha huh? it's a little crown and it's on my head sideways but oh my god it's stuck in my bang <laughs> but if I can be completely honest that's another reason why I was I'm just gonna place it right there y'all can't really see it but it's up there that's another reason why I kind of wanted to compete in this pageant because I wanted a small crown as a regional or or um yeah, a regional or city or county title holder. Um, I wanted a small crown. I've never had a small crown before. Um, it, that seems, I'm just refixing, just ignore me refixing my ponytail, okay, y'all? Um, it seems very small, but like these are all, these are all things that people look at before they decide to um, join somebody's organization. Um, but yeah, I wanted a small crown and I was like, I think I'm going to do Miss Black USA for real this time. And I have so much support. So many people are helping me. I'm doing fundraisers all the way up until September. The pageant is not until September 4th. I have my talent picked out. I have my gown picked out. I'm super excited. I am trying my best to be as ahead of the curve as possible. So, um, just you know stay tuned if you have any questions let me know i am a veteran i feel like a veteran i feel like i look like a veteran um because i've been doing this since i was 12 
But um, I'm super happy to be back and I'm super excited to see how this goes for me. I think this is going to determine whether or not I continue with pageantry. Um, not necessarily saying like if I win the, the state title or anything like that, am I going to continue? But I'm just excited to be back in this space. I haven't been in in like almost a decade. So, um, and like actually committed because Earth USA was cute in theory for me, but because um, I do care about the earth. Like I yell at my friends all the time for littering. <laughs> But now I'm in a way different space and so mentally and I feel good. So um, I'm ready to give it all I got, y'all. So thank you for tuning in and watching. This is your girl, Hannah. Okay. And um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video on this channel. Follow me across all forms of social media at Hannah Burnell W. And I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, bye.